I am the Commissar, that's my name. Forged Alliance Forever, that's the game. Who have we got with a claim to fame? We're back on a 2v2 ladder face-off on a generated map. We have the cold team up here in the northeast and the hot team down here in the southwest. Going first for cold team. This is Karateka. He's in UEF. He's 1377 rated and he is in baby blue. And his ally, Zaznoba, 1622 rated, playing Cybran in dark blue. Down here on the hot team, in the slightly more forward position, we have Popiska. He's 1501 rated, playing Seraphim in red. And a little bit behind him, this is Delhi, 1623 rated, Cybron in Burgundy. Quick look at the map. So we have a bit of reclaim scattered about, quite nice patches out here on either flank. And there are expansions here and here which I expect are going to go to the clockwise players, whereas the anti-clockwise players have these more spaced out mixes. But this expansion especially, I expect to be quite hard in terms of being contested. First land, second air for Delhi. Same for Poppy. We've only got first land so far for Zazno, but no sign of where he's going second. And land or day for Karateka. A Selene out from Poppy and Lab for Scout out from Delhi. So that's a bit of an aggressive start for Hot Team, whereas we're still only seeing engineers a rather greedy start out for cold team any combat we're getting yes we're getting a combat unit here at last for karateka there's no but only going for an inti to start with. However, I was expecting this boy to come raiding up a lot faster. Oh no, he's waiting for a second lab. So two labs and a scout going out to see what they can do against the enemy. And there I was saying it was going to be quite aggressive. As yet, they've only expanded their front up to here. And quite a lot of defensive airplay yet no aggression there either although i do see quite a lot of air to ground there's two bombers there queued up for zasnoba nope just playing defensively with these delhi my man send them in raid be aggressive here's that first bomber we were speaking of supported by a scout as you'd expect It sees Poppy's com. It sees an engineer back here, and that's the target it's going to be looking for. Meanwhile, this raid that we mentioned going on up here, but I'm more interested in the bomber. It looks like the raid is going to run into tanks. The bomber. Boom! Picks off an NG. Nice kill. The labs, however, they've split up and they're being chased down and they're not even going to get their engineer. The bomber is felled by these inties out from Poppy, but we've got another bomber out who's going straight for the mexes since he hasn't got any bird power he can find to kill in this area. 
and this time there's a bit of inti assistance from Zaznob, so that bomber is going to get a second shot away. And again, it's just going straight for the mechs. I think he's going to get that, but Poppy has cleared up Zaznob's inties, and so he should have no trouble finishing off the bomber. Still, a decent amount of eco damage and killing the engineer will have stopped Poppy expanding as fast as he'd like to these mexes but down here an NG is picked up by this bomber from Delhi and he too has screened it with Inti's but at the cost of sacrificing Inti's of his own Kawateka cleans it up. Gun upgrades on both Cold Team comms here and nice assistance there for Kawateka who's going to get his finished pretty fast though he's having energy trouble oh yes that's quite a store even so he's going to get it finished reasonably fast and Zasnoba is also assisting his bit of pressure here from Delhi but with the gun com finished and we just more spam here and these factories going up Karateka should have no problems countering this now Poppy has advanced his com forward with spam past his forward expansion whereas Zaznoba held back to get the upgrade and as a result sure he's going to be able to gun this raid down but it's going to kill that forward expansion for Zaznoba so he's going to lose a bit of eco relative to his opposite number as it were Delhi. and Delhi and Karateka moving towards each other. These tanks need to come across here and join in the fun. Delhi gets his comm back to the expansion and starts rebuilding. Sneaky little gesture or two out as well but I think we need to have all eyes here but there's also a run by from Poppy coming past here so let's go to split screen and check it out. So here on the left, here's Karateka. He's surrounded by Delhi and Delhi's spam. But Karateka has gun and Delhi doesn't, and Karateka has factories nearer. Up here, we can see that run by from Poppy has taken out one mech, seems likely to get these two without context. But down here on the right, says Nobit is pushing way far forward. Is that sensible? Is that safe? He's bringing air support in, he's got gestures, but we can't look too long there because over here Delhi is into the yellow he's as low as Karateka now and Karateka has all these tanks surrounding him Delhi's bringing some in but Karateka has more he can work through this trickle one at a time and Delhi may have overextended up here four mechs is out for Karateka but a point defense has gone up however we can't stay watching that for long because look at this Delhi is into the red He's losing health. And Karateka's in the yellow. He'll survive with the explosion. Boom! Out goes Delhi. But we can't wait for a second because here is Popiska, who is into the yellow being just a gunship, but Zaznoba is also into the yellow. And there's spam from Popiska surrounding him. Is Popiska going to make it out? Popiska also has gun. These gestures are being picked off. They're not going to do enough damage. And Zaznoba's into the red. Boom! Down goes Zaznoba. Popiska survives with just 1400 hit points. And we can see on the minimap up there that the run by has been defeated, but it took out four mixes. So that's pretty nice. Ooh, back to single screen. So, that was some non stop play. The surviving comms are both weak but alive. Reasonably mid map boundary here. Let's have a quick look at tech. Everyone started T2 land, but nobody's finished with it until just now. Papiska just now finishes Tech 2 Cybran land. Eco check. 
Papiska almost overflowing, but he has just inherited a big bunch of stuff from Delhi. And he's just about keeping from the overflow, so that's nice. Karateka needs a bit more power, but he too is reasonably well balanced. In each case, needs a bit of work, but could be worse. Now, I like this. Karateka has just carried on forward, and he's cleaning up this expansion. But it does mean that Poppy has got into the back a bit, and is taking out a mex or two. But I do think that this will be cleaned up reasonably soon, because there's just more production here, and a decent amount of spam. Over here, Poppy's not pushing, and he could be, because there's no, but just didn't have any units here. And this one could just push in and kill it, and this one tank might be doing just that. However, here comes Karateka, heading forward with his spam, with his com. He's still a little weak, but he's not as weak as Poppy, who's still into the red. And do you see what I see? Do you see fire beaters? I see a couple of fire beaters scuttering out. In fact, I see more than a couple of fire beaters scuttering out. That's quite a lot. And they're heading towards this spam belonging to Karateka. But they're choosing not to engage. I think he's going for the snipe. He's running on past, and of course, Karateka can't see these. They're cloaked. So until they get within Omni range of the com, he won't be able to see those fire beetles. Boom, Karateka's com has Omni and spots one of them, so down it goes. But there's more where that came from, there's quite a lot more where that came from. There's also T2 Air, here's a Vultal gunship supporting the beetles. They run in and they're enmeshed with the spam, any explosions here will do good work in clearing up some of the spam. Karateka has brought bombers, but boom! Fire beetles on Karateka, 4,000 hit points, they explode, the gunship fires again. And another beetle comes in. But it runs past. Come on, you beetles! He's into the red! Boom! And boom! 1,100 hit points! The spam continues, 800, 600, 500, it's Karateka about to go out. At 500 hit points there's more beetles, that one blows up further away, so does that, 400 hit points. And there's still two more beetles but Karateka can see them and he shoots them and Karateka survives, skin of his teeth, 400 hit points as the beetles zoom in. Another gunship comes to try and finish it off but while Poppy has been going for tea to air, Karateka has been producing inties and he's safe. Over here we're seeing Ilshi's out from this flank, so he's T2 several of him as well. The NG that was trying to rebuild here has been killed, so there's two mechs dead and two more that could be picked up essentially for free. More spam comes in and more fire beetles. What can he do with those? Does Karateka have decent radar anywhere? Does he have any radar? Let's have a look at the intel overlay. He does, and he can see some of the fire beaters, but they'll be able to come past here without being seen. And they do. Now, some spam has come to counter where the Ilshi was, and there are now rhinos in there providing some support. But this is going to be quite a threat to the base, and if something is done about it, with the radar, these pillars should be able to see the incoming beetles, and they do, but the beetles are getting close. Oof, that was almost a T3, T2 P Gen dead. It is a T2 P Gen dead. The beetles are getting in, and the beetles are doing damage. A pillar dies, but there's another one where that came from, still. A T2 Pigeon dead, what's that done to Karateka? Okay, he's fine, he's got more power production somewhere, he's got a Hydro here, I think he's got a Hydro over here somewhere.
However, these ill sheets could be troublesome. Just, they're just on their own, but there's one more fire beetle and an ill sheet coming in. The bomber's trying to wear it down, but ill sheets are so tough. One T1 bomber isn't really going to get much done. This rhino may see to it, though. Spam being used to counter the Ilshis here, and there's not a great deal of pressure. That amount of pillars, supported by Strikers and Mantis, should be able to hold it back. And there's a dropout here. That looks like it's all NGs, though, and I think this is a bit of a waste. Tech 3 on the way for Papiska, so we'll see how that goes. This drop comes down, it lands, but those NGs are surrounded by Spam and they're just going to die before they really get anything done. I don't think those engines paid for themselves. And these Ilshis are indeed dying to the Horde, but this Horde is not going to get much further because as well as the Ilshis wearing them down, there's a T2 point defence here and a second one going up for Poppy, and that will easily see off a raid as small as that. So both the forward expansions completely out of commission for each team. However, overall Karatekas Eco is struggling and that's not a power store, he's just not producing enough. Whereas Poppy, he's more than spending it, but he's producing twice as much, so that feels like a bad sign for our code team player. And did I see... yes, T3 land on the way for Karateka as well, but I believe that... Poppy is going to get there much earlier. He's assisting with his comm and several engineers. I like that use of the comm, just ha leaving him here assisting with the upgrade until he's got a bit more health. Six Corsairs, says Delhi, and he's not wrong. We have a mass of Corsairs being uh, built up here for Karateka. What can he do with them? Let's have a quick check of air units. Karateka has 17 plus 16 of the various types of fighter. What's that? Anyone do some quick maths? 33? Whereas Popiska has also 33. Okay, so they're even Stevens exactly on air. I see flax in the mix for Poppy and T1 AA for Karateka, but, and where Poppy's going gunships though, the Nothers are coming in for Karateka, and they can shoot the gunships, but they can't shoot the Nothers, Corsairs. He takes out a mechs, and he tries to pull away. He does lose a couple of the Corsairs, but in the ensuing air fight, I think Karateka got the better turn there, and Karateka will come out on top. He's choosing to stay in it, and I think he's going to win it. However, over here he's trying to push, but that push is badly grouped. It's become a trickle, and this huge sideswipe from Poppy is just going to wipe it. And this is not also going to fare, fare well against a loyalist and a brick, which have come out from the T3 factory that Poppy has finished. So. Karateka needs to fall back and regroup, but his Corsairs come back, pick off another mechs, and I think they're just going to turn and run and try and make it out. Indeed they are. Over here, Ilshavo pressure, and I don't like this play. He's been putting out mobile missile launches, but mobile missile launches are not going to defend against a horde of Ilshis, and they just die straight up. There are no turrets here. There's a couple of rhinos dotted about, but... I'm not seeing the army to stop these. In come the Corsairs, and the Corsairs do pick off one. There's a reaction, but it might be too late, because there's no flak here to support, no anti-air at all, and so the Corsairs will be able to go to town on these Ilshis. 
But speaking of going to town, sure, there's a point defence, but that's going to die to the Loyalist in the brick. And it does. And now this Loyalist will do an excellent job cleaning up T1 spam. The brick is also pretty good at T1 spam because it fires so much faster than a Percy. And so this is just going to die and more Loyalists come in. And things look pretty bleak for Karateka, as if that wasn't enough, we've got a run by coming around here. Mantis, Hunters, just generally swarming around a little bit of anti-air in there, and Karateka has to respond, pulling stuff away from this front here. He does have T3 of his own though, and Titans are coming down this flank, and the Titans will clean up this little batch of NGs trying to grab this expansion, and they'll do it easily enough. And four Titans on one Oshi? Sure, one Titan on one Oshi, the Oshi will die, but at least get a decent exchange mass for mass. Whereas four Titans, the Oshi just get shredded. And there are also Titans coming over here, but now that he knows there's T3 on the field, I think Karateka needs to focus a bit more on Percy's, especially when there's that brick portaling around. And he's lost two mexes up here to this run by, which has just literally run past to spam three mexes. And he's now 40 eco behind. Okay, make that 30 now. No, back to 40. So, Karateka really has some catching up to do if he's going to win this. And that Vothu comes in and it's just going to do yet more eco damage, picking away at the mass points with nothing really to stop it. However, there's a nice bit of run by here as these Titans, rather than engage this emplacement, just run past get a mix. I think they're going to get three mixes before the Vultals clear them up. However, there isn't really any interceptor support for Karateka, and so the Vultals will clear them up, and they'll leave a decent heap of reclaim on Poppy's side. And that's a big army messing through the middle. Now, Karateka has both gun and shield on his comm now, but that comm is slow. It's out of position relative to this, and... What can he do against this huge mass of dudes charging in? He's got Titans, but that's about it. And his comms coming down here, perhaps to try and catch it from behind if it tries to retreat, but why would it try to retreat? Not sure where he's going with this, he could just charge in, and I don't think Karateka has enough to stop it. What does Poppy know about what Karateka has? Okay, he's got basically no radar coverage, so he can't see anything because he's out of power. Good micro here from Karateka, engaging little dribs and drabs of Poppy's force and picking bits of it off. But this charge there's just so much in it that I don't know how Karateka will survive. And he's really focusing almost everything on land. He's got a trickle of inties but nothing to match this huge army and that's actually quite a big air attack coming in from Poppy. And while Karateka busies himself with the micro here, his com is about to be eaten. The Vothu's open fire. karateka has got the shield, but he hasn't got any flak in the area. His inties are just wiped out. I think that the writing may be on the wall, and this will be a long, slow death for Karateka, as there's nothing to stop the Vothu's. What's he gonna do about it, my dudes? His shield is dropping. He starts building a war section. What's he doing with that? He's drawing a heart. My dudes, he is drawing a heart. But will he get time to finish it? I don't think he will. It will just be a dream. A dream laid to rest by the explosion of Karateka's commander as the gunships rain down on him and as if that weren't enough, 
all of this was flooding into his base. Poor old Karateka. Poppy and Hot Team win. Was it all down to the Beatles? You tell me. But I know you love a good bit of beta play. Meanwhile, while you give me your opinions on the Beatles in the comments below, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and obey. I am the Commissar, and I will see you next time.